Wednesday, which means it is legs day, and I am rocking the Ass to Grass Just Lift t-shirt, just released. New colors, black, white, gray, brown, I think we've got green as well. Yo, this is the t-shirt for when you're hitting legs. Let them know, Ass to Grass all day, you know how I do it. So, uh, Shan, you looking forward to legs? What's the plan? What's the plan? Oh, let me say forget. The plan is we're gonna go to Ask the Grass. <laughs> uh, she's on cue, she's on cue. Anyway, yeah, uh, I'm gonna vlog it so you guys are gonna see what I do. Today I'm not actually gonna be doing uh, conventional like barbell squats. I'm starting a little thing where I alternate each week between doing all my conventional squats, barbell, and then you know I, I, I bring my legs close together to hit my sweep. But then I also want to use a lot of machines now as well to target my quads, so today I'm going to be using machines. Um, so you're going to see it. Stay tuned. this little alternating thing that I'm doing with the legs you know like I said to you guys where I did like barbell squats one week and then the next week I did a lot of I do a lot of machines um, yeah man as long as I don't lose my strength with my conventional barbell squats I'm cool with it man so you know and obviously if I alternate each week should be fine anyway heading home got loads of work to do ridiculous to do this but um, so far so good brilliant day got to eat So I changed my mind and I am going to do 
some sort of heavy presses. I'm gonna warm up with uh, one plate and just work my way up from behind the neck presses. Had to do it, man, had to do it. Sounds like by the time I get in, then uh, I'll go put something on the barbecue. Some hot fish, or some salmon or something. So it's going to be an expensive barbecue. I just picked up some lobster tails, and I picked up some scallops, and chicken for later. But yeah, it's going to be expensive, man, damn. <laughs> it's going to be good though, it's going to taste good. Yo, I'm back in the house, and uh, I'm making, well, I'm seasoning these scallops. Seasoning these scallops and I'm going to keep it so simple, nothing crazy at all and I'm not going to read any ingredients, any recipes, I'm just going to freestyle it. Last time I made scallops, I actually made scallops with tangerines and it was the best ever. In fact, I've had, ten, I've had scallops at restaurants many times, it's like one of my favourite starters. Nothing compares to the scallops that I made myself with tangerines. I think I lightly fried it with the tangerines, scallops lightly fried and then little pieces of fried tangerine oh my god it was the best ever today i'm actually grilling the uh, scallop i don't expect it to taste the same they're probably not going to be as succulent not as juicy as the ones i made previously i've got them in a bowl i'm just going to add some olive oil lemon pepper and orange juice that's it Season the scallops with like orange juice, olive oil, and uh, some lemon pepper. But I've just had an idea. What I might do, might do, I'm gonna do it. These are my lobster tails. I'm gonna cut down the middle and I'm gonna dip them in the sauce so they get some of this uh, seasoning. Look at this guy. Look, he's so interested in We're everything I'm doing. We are having a barbecue, Chef. Yay! Look at this guy. What are these rolls? You asked for rolls, didn't you? They are organic? Alright, so guys, as I said, I'm gonna cut down the middle of these lobster tails. You see them there? Juicy lobster tails. And then I'm going to dip it in this sauce so that it seeps into all the cracks. And when it's cooking, the flavors, you know, get sucked in. Let's see how it goes. This might not even work. It might not taste good, but that's the fun thing about cooking trial and error. That's how I actually learned to cook. No one ever taught me to cook. I just learned myself. I used to use recipe books and just freestyling, you know, just getting uh, different uh, meats and throwing different seasonings in and seeing what worked. Um, I remember actually cooking uh, chicken hearts at one point, just because uh, every time I used to go to the butchers, I used to just, you know, be intrigued by all the different stuff that they had there, so I'd just try different bits. The chicken hearts weren't nice, by the way, so uh, if you want to try that out, you can try it, but I did not like it. But yeah, that's how I learned to cook. And then the first things I actually learned to cook were cakes, like bacon. I used to have, my mum used to have uh, Delia Smith uh, cookbooks in the house. So I just used to read through them and uh, try and buy some of the ingredients and freestyle some cooking. You know? But yeah, cooking's fun and you just like 
freestyle. To be honest, I shouldn't be freestyling with these lobster tails and scallops because the shit costs so much. Shan, do you know how much this stuff costs? Sweet. I think the uh, scallops were like 25 you or 20. You get them fresh, they're the fresh thing No, no, packet. it's in a packet. The lobster tails in a packet as well? Yeah, and the lobster tails were about $28. Ah, oh, damn. So it's Fresh gonna be, ones are so much better. For well. sure. So it's gonna, it's expensive, this experiment, but I'm sure it'll be alright.